Hello, everyone. Welcome to Black Link Magazine. I am your host, Marva B, and you have entered the Black Link Experience. I'm so excited to be here today. I want to welcome my guests um, to the Black Link Experience. You guys, welcome. Thank you for having us. Hey, okay. you're welcome. So what I'd like to do is for each of you to go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. Tell them what you do, who you are. Yeah, my name is Temple Ty. I'm originally from Alabama. Uh, I now reside in Florida. I've been working with you the last few years. Um, I was released from uh, incarceration in 2019, and I've been using that to kind of tell my story and give it a different perspective. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. You want to introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Quentin Hurry, I'm co-CEO and a and of the Bridge Management. I'm located out of Monroeville, Alabama. I've been working, I've been knowing Tempo Tai for years, from, from when we was kids, family, Aww. school related. I mean, he's an artist that needs to be heard, and not just because of what you know the trend is but actually the message that he brings not just the ordinary rapper with dreads he actually got a message mm -hmm. and it's, everybody needs a real message that people can relate to and they, they can believe i think that music brings a message when you have a story behind it so kudos to you i don't care what has you've done i don't care it doesn't matter to me i'm thankful that you're here today and we just want to hear everything about your your about you so first of all tell me what when did you get into the music like was it you know earlier on in your life when you were younger you always knew that this was what you were going to do no, no, actually, I didn't. I mean, I was always a big music lover. Uh, my family comes from New York, so I always had a different influence living in Alabama, but hearing DMX and Nas and things like that. So I always had that good mix. Um, and I never, you know, being honest with you, I never had the bravery to actually write music and let people hear. You know, I always just wrote uh, as a way to cope. And um, in 2014, I received my charge and I was on trial. At the same time, I was actually having my first child. So for me, it became like a whirlwind of emotions and writing became that uh, that expression for me. And then it started to come together where, you know, the story became music and the music became rhymes and then it became a format. And um, that was actually cut short uh, due to my incarceration in 2017. And, you know, little did not know at the time that that would actually be a jump start because, you know, in there, you know, guys would hear, oh, you rap? all right, let's hear it, you know? And it was that pressure of having to stand up and battle somebody and go head to head. And I was too shy to let people hear me rap. But to feel that reaction and see people, you know, go crazy and, and you know, respond to my style, which is not like you know, everyone else's. Right. It became that confirmation, that reinsurance was like, all right, I could do this. I could let yeah. people hear my style. And, uh, you know, around that time, guys started to ask me to tell their story. They started to come Whoa. tell me. They would see me write and they would see me put it together. And, you know, these were uh, these were guys that were doing 25 to life. I was in level four maximum. So, you know, these guys, you know, this may be the only way this story gets heard. Right. This may be the only way somebody else can learn from that. So uh, that became that extra motivation to, to stay consistent. Yeah, that's a good story. That's an awesome story. And I, that's just a piece of it, right? Just a piece of your story. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I like it. And I, and I, and I think that people want to hear it. You know, there's people that you don't even know that you will touch with your music um, that will really, maybe even you will change their lives around by telling your story and what your experiences were. Tell me, um, what have you, so you got out um, in 27, 19? 19, yeah. 2019, and when you got out, did you and Q just connected back together? Um, you you had been in touch with him, how did that work? No, we hadn't talked uh, for years, honestly. And uh, for me, um, when I was first writing, you know, I had this confidence about myself coming out because I felt like I was battling in the dungeons, you know. So when I came out, I knew how good I would be, but I had nothing to show anybody. So when I was networking and reaching out and trying to talk to people, I kind of, you know, got the cold shoulder from everybody. And um, I reached out to Q. I reached out to him strictly as, you know, and so let me get your opinion. You know, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. And or ever hearing a line from me, he always, you know, responded back. He would always give me feedback. And, um, you know, after that, it became where I started to grow and build. And I would ask, what do you think about this? Listen to this. And before I dropped my first song, he was listening to samples for me for over a year. 
Wow. And um, that's, that's how, you know, that trust was kind of built. Because once people started hearing me, you know, thankfully, I started, you know, getting attention where people started kind of gravitating towards me. But for me, you know, it's that loyalty of knowing, like, nah, he was he was rocking with me before you heard my bars, you know, before you right. heard everything. Right. So, Q, let's talk about that. Let's talk about your reasoning and your wanting to. I know you guys have been knowing each other, you know, for quite a, quite some time. Um, tell me the connection that you felt, um, especially when he reached back out to you. Honestly, uh, for some reason, a lot of people think I look like Suge Knight. So, <laughs> so I guess they you look just like him. <laughs> so they tie in that that musical compound, but uh, but overall, just with tempo, I felt I'm a music person. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I haven't officially been just, you know, like everybody else, but I feel like I got a great ear when it comes to music. Um, and I'm I'm about the future. Yeah. A lot of everything that's being rapped about, you don't believe it. Like you going you can tell when somebody is genuine. You can tell when somebody's been in that that struggle, that that heartache, that trouble. Like a lot of people do stuff for clout because in this industry, it's uh be honest, it's like a it's smoke, I call it a smoke screen. Yeah. It looks yeah. way on to the outside, but behind the cloud, I'm totally different. And with tempo when he was rapping. Matter of fact, it's a song for five seconds. And if you look at his video, you see it in his eyes. Like a lot of this stuff, you you can't make that up. Make it <laughs> you up. can feel that. You felt that energy. It, music is about energy, positivity, and truth. If you yeah. like, a lot of people don't, they want to hide behind their truth instead of speaking their truth because your truth might be a light to someone else. So with him, him reaching out, I always kept, and I'm with this with everybody, whether you like my opinion or not, I'm going right. to give it to you. I mean, because if you can't handle what my criticism is, and I might not be nobody to somebody, but I'm going to be, I can't, i never been that yes man type of person. If somebody else like it, but I don't. Say you don't like um, it. Yeah, true. Exactly. It's a lot of people out here that's like, Oh yeah, that's fire. That's fire. But then when you actually put it into the industry here, it flops. And then now you just realize you've been sold a bunch of lies. But with tempo, I'm telling you, like I smile when I hear him rap Aww, because, yeah. <laughs> like, it's that, like, yeah, he's special. Yeah. yeah, if he gets the right notoriety in the right ear that somebody that actually knows music and want to bring, I understand where the current state of music is at. Yeah. But for the real music lovers, the real hip hop heads, the ones that's bars, like they gonna feel them. Mm-hmm. And with them, it's not one dimensional. I just heard him rap, rap on a, uh, a, what is it, the, the dubstep beat. I done heard him rap into so many factions to this like, you can't be denied. Right. So that's it's, confidence. It's crazy how you say that because in the beginning he was afraid to even let anybody hear him. He had Boy. something, but he was afraid, you know. And sometimes we have to step outside the box and even take that chance. But I like the fact, Q, that you say, I'm going to tell you the truth, especially if you care about me. I want to know the truth because I can't fix it if you're not telling me the truth, right? If I ain't doing it right, then tell me so I can go back and make it and fix it. This business, this music industry is a monster. So you tell me what your, you know, what what is your plan for this music industry? Because you got to know the business and you got to know that that you're going to get a whole bunch of no's. What is your what is your plan and and how are you going to combat that? Yeah, for me, uh, you know, it's about making the hard thing simple. And I feel like if you put in the work in, you stay consistent. That that aspect's gonna handle itself. But like you said, it's a monster in the business aspect. So it's about educating yourself and learning too. So like I said, I I was out in 2019. I was reaching out and networking before I was recording music because I understand that there are there are certain certain groups and there are all those certain people that think they could give you a big number. 
and you just you never seen it before, so you go with it. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, you know, I understand not everything is going to go my way, but if I can minimize that, if I can educate myself, you know, that's the same way I was able to do less. I received a 10 year sentence, but I did two years because I, re- I educated myself. I was in the law library and I was doing appeals and I was able to come home. You know what I mean? And for me, preparation defeats a whole lot of that. That's right. It's all about educating yourself. I don't care if it's in the music business. I don't care if it's in the corporate world. Whatever you do, you got to educate yourself. Q, what are you telling people that want to get in this grimy business? It's not for the weak hearted. It's not for the quick. If you if you want to just be a one hit wonder, make one hit wonder moves. Make one hit wonder strategies. But it it's all about longevity. Do you want, me and Tempo had this word and we talk about it a lot, it's called residual. Mm-hmm. Just don't let your music be the only thing that's bringing you income. Because right. when the music dies or the music is halted, what else are you bringing to the table that you ain't got to sit there? Because life happens. You, don't, you might have a kid, you might get married, you might fall and break your toe and you ain't able to get up and do like your normal activity. So what else do you have to help bring you residual income, meaning brand marketing, uh, ambassadorships, the whole nine yards. We, with us at the bridge, we don't want you to just see yourself as a rapper, a singer, the producer. We want you to be your brand. You are a brand. You are your own brand. Right. And your brand can either Make you, it can break you. Right. With tempo, I mean, just not, maybe I'm biased, but I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, from mm-hmm. his intellect, the way how he sees stuff, certain stuff, I feel like he can appeal and attract to the ones in the gutter, to the ones in the corporate office. Because right. if really about, you know, that higher level of thinking, you can't help but to respect what he's talking about because you know he's telling the truth. Mm-hmm. If he went to that, was incarcerated and spent that time in that library to get himself out, that says a whole bunch because people just go lay down and just try to stay out of trouble and get home. Okay. But he, he was putting action behind what he really wanted and that speaks volumes. I think you, you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, um, also we talk about uniqueness and what you bring different, you know, in this game, because like if you hear a lot of rap, you it's a, it's, a, it's the same, you know, a lot of the same stuff. If you hear R&B singing, some of this kind of the same, right? Um, you talked about being different and bringing something different to the table. Is it because people, other people do have stories as well. What is the, what is the most uniqueness or unique thing that you bring to the table that you feel you bring to the table? Uh, for me, I don't think, I think the reason is it's not a forced sound. Um, I think, like you said, people strive to either be the same or they strive to be different, but they don't ever strive to be themselves. So if you're using your voice, you're using your story, you're telling your thing, you are different, you are that. And for me, um, when it comes to writing, uh, I can only say, I can tell a story, you know, unlike any other. I can paint a picture and I take pride in that. I take pride being able to paint a picture because when I write, and when I when I rap and I let you hear this, I want you to feel what I feel because I'm telling you real things. So I need you to feel how I felt in that moment. I need you to see what I saw. And I, and you know it doesn't that doesn't come without passion. That doesn't come without energy. And like I said, it also comes out. Those things come easy as a byproduct of it being real for me. You know what I'm saying? Wow, wow. So I have an 18 year old son, right? And he's wanting to get in the game and he had to do nine months. He, they gave him more, but he got out early too. What are you telling my 18 right. year old Q or, or, or Tempo? Right, he was doing this before he left, set up something in his room to make music. It's his heart, it's his love. I tell him, no, don't get in the music business. That's not for, that, we ain't messing with it, right? But that's right. his love and I can't keep him out. What do you tell, what, what advice are you giving him? Uh, for, for me? I would advise him you know, the same things that work because um, he was given a story for a reason. He was given these experiences for a reason. So, you know, it's, it's your job to pass it along. And if he chooses music, it seems like that's his passion, then really pass that story, pass those feelings because 
you know, if he touches one person that touches a hundred people, he impacts the world, you know? Yeah. Well, what are you saying truly to an 18 year old fresh in the business or, or trying to get into break into the business? The Suge Knight complex in me and Tempo knows this. I'll tell him that ain't like you, that's up. Quit just to see where his mental at. Mm -hmm. Are you going to fight? Or are you going to sleep? Are you going to lay down? Because if you are really passionate about your work, it doesn't matter what nobody says. It doesn't matter about, you know, any negative views you're going to get. Because if you can handle adversity and negativity, I promise ain't nothing can stop you. You're going to be in a position to where your lowest is not going to be as low due to how far you had to climb from the jump. So that consistency, that fighting spirit, I'm, I'm for the underdog, for the ones that are getting looked over, for the ones that, oh, he sucked. People forget about the progress. Kendrick Lamar did not jump out there till like five, 10 years later in the game. Uh, it's a lot of artists. I mean, Lizzo, me and my partner yes. talk about all the time. Lizzo's that her first song was already a song that was put out like five, seven years ago. So it might not be for the time now. Yeah. But if you're consistent, if you keep perfecting your craft, make sure you tighten up. If you ready, if you already ready, you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready. Hey, me, it's like yeah. at like I would think um to me, it's like don't be it, how what do you do after you lose? You understand? Like for me, that's mm -hmm. that's I don't mind taking a loss. I don't mind not succeeding on the first round. That that excites me. That makes me want to do more. That makes me want to do better. I, I'm better after a loss than I am winning. And if you're personality, <laughs> that type of personality, you're gonna win no matter what. Because you know it people people don't look at the thousand losses prior to that one big win. Ooh. I mean the world, the world didn't know your name made that one big win, you know? Y'all are so, so brilliant. Oh my gosh, uh, both of y'all. Listen, every, it's true. People will take, a, get a no and it's over for them. Like their whole world is crushed and I'm done, right? I like the motivation. Tell me no and I'm going to fight hard. It's It matters what you learn in it. What did, why, why did I get told no? What can I right. do better, you know, and, and come back and do it the next time. I hear a Kendrick lot of- said that, Like Kendrick said that it's some to that extent like, I ain't scared of losses no more. I see life in that. Oh, People yeah. Afraid yeah. of losing. Woo. They are afraid of losing, yet that is your best teacher. If you are always, that's why you see a lot of people when they're all the way up top, the high, my highest of the mountains, and then they take that drop and they don't know how to come back. That's they right. fall. They fall. Instead of saying, okay, all right, you didn't like it. You told me no. All right, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cook up something else. I'm gonna get back in the lab. Um, I am. I appreciate y'all being here. Where can we find your music? What have you have you dropped anything at this point? What, what's going on with you? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, starting at the beginning of the year, I started releasing my music on all major platforms. Um, you can find me under Tempo. Uh, I'm gonna be re-releasing under the new brand name Tempo Tie, uh, but it's on Apple, SoundCloud. Um, Instagram, Deezer, uh, Pandora. I've got on all major platforms. Um, and a good example of kind of what we spoke about earlier is a song I released that's been doing great. Uh, actually, it was killer because it started as a story that I would tell to guys when we were locked up. You know, it was like uh, telling them a story and we would kind of, you know, just hang out and that ended up turning into a song. And I didn't want to release it. And Q and Sid were like, hey, this is, this is a real story. People need to hear this. And uh, it ended up, it ended up doing fantastic. I was, I was thankful wow. for that. You know, I could take something that was insecure up and let people hear. Yeah, I heard somebody in the business. I can't. I talked to so many people where they said, I didn't like the stuff that I think is horrible. I let people in. They're <laughs> like, you gotta, that's fire. You gotta release it, and then it do like super good, right? It does yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. That's Crazy. Yeah. That is so, that. so Q, how can we find you on all social media sites? Um, IG, uh, the underscore big underscore homie underscore Q, um, Facebook, Quinn Murray, or you can find me on our IG, the bridge network. And also shout out to the CEO, Sydney Broughton, uh, my partner, the one that actually I brought tempo 
Let's see. She's actually from California. Wow. So a lot of the, if you know about, you know, genres, the West yeah. Coast style yep. and that Southern style is yep. something totally different. So yep. when I brought Tempo to uh, tour and she was like, it, it was undeniable. So, and wow. we're trying to just get all our resources, pull them together and make sure that his voice is heard. And once again, thank you for you know, giving us the opportunity to speak to, you know, put yeah. Tempo Tide there to the world and let them know like, hey, he come. You Absolutely, know. because I, I think that you, you got, they got to hear you. They got to hear your voice and I believe that. And so what we want to do is we want to get one of your songs and run it on the website for a little bit, let people get it out there. Um, and of course, we're going to get this interview out and share it on all platforms. You share it on all platforms. Let's do this. Let's do it because we we believe in you. We believe in you. I, I do now. You convince me. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much for coming to Black Link Magazine. We also want to do a feature on you in the magazine. So we'll be in touch with Q and let you know how we can get started on that. It'll be probably the first of the year because we already booked out for this year. But we definitely want to bring you back and get you in the magazine, okay? And get you get you out like that. So maybe you'll have something new in 2022 that we can talk about. Of course, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. You guys go out and follow these guys. I'm talking about brilliance. If you want to know the truth, if you want to hear the truth, if you want to hear some good music, if you want to learn about the business, hit them up um, on all social media sites. So we're going to get out of here for now, you guys. Remember to respect yourself, respect each other. God bless. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're welcome.